Hello everybody, welcome to part 5 of the X-Files. So, uh, if you want to see what these guys are doing in the warehouse more clearly, you can use the binoculars to zoom in and... We see that they're pulling some boxes out of the floorboards. What's in those boxes? I have no idea. Or maybe I do, but... Not at this moment. Uh, going up to them will get you killed. Uh, aiming a flashlight will get you killed. Uh, trying to shoot them will get you killed. So it's generally a good idea to just watch them and just let them do whatever the hell they want. When they're gone, they're gone. You don't have to worry about them ever again. But you can check out the floorboards they were uh, opening up. Not that you're going to find anything, unfortunately. This is the last uh, dark area in the whole game, by the way. There will be more nighttime segments, but it, it never gets to the level of darkness that the warehouse ever was. I don't know why this area in the game is so freaking dark, but uh, it just is. It won't be like this again, I swear. So yeah, there's literally nothing else to do in the warehouse. We saw those two guys take some boxes out, and uh, that's it, really. We can't... At nighttime, there's really nothing to do. You go to the field office, nobody's going to be there. You go to the crime lab, nobody's going to be there. There's nothing left to do at the warehouse. So we all have to, all we have to do really is go back to the apartment and uh, call it a day, basically. I'm moving next to the uh, computer because I want to check if I have any ants, any messages on my answering machine. You can occasionally go to your answering machine every now and then and find some new, you know, voice message from Wilmore's wife or whatever. But uh, yeah. When you're ready to move on to the next day, all you do is you go into your bedroom, you sleep in the bed, and booyah! It is now day two of the X-Files. And there's nothing to do in the apartment, so day two, just either go to the dockside warehouse if you feel like there's something to investigate, or go back to the field office, but uh, since you're playing along with me, I think we'll just go back to the field office, why not? And it's at this point in the game that we have reached disc two of four! Booyah! So yeah, we're a quarter away- we're a quarter ways through the game now. <laughs> And oh, what the hell? Either Agent Cook has misplaced his bed and is sleeping on the floor, or somebody knocked this guy out. Hey, did you get the... Did you get the number of that bus? You okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna live. Unfortunately. Until Shanks gets a hold of me. Ugh. <sighs> Well, we better see if anything's missing. Okay, Judge Reinhold. <laughs> Seriously, in that one shot, he looks exactly like Judge Reinhold. Anyway, check the lockers next to Shank's office. Scully's laptop is missing. That's your phone. If earlier in part four you decided to handle the computer business and not give it to Cook, uh, there would actually be a cutscene of Wilmore putting the laptop into the lockers. So you'd know where to find it in that instance, but uh, if you gave it to Cook, then some of you might be confused where to look. But yeah, the laptop was in there, now it's gone. Is this uh, Agent Wilmore? Yes. Agent Wilmore, this is Agent Pendrel of the Psy Crime Lab in D.C. Uh, I completed the preliminary analysis of the blood sample from your office. <sighs> I'm afraid I got some bad news. It looks like that blood belongs to Agent Scully. Oh, Jesus. Are you certain? Fairly. I mean, a more detailed analysis will confirm it, but I'm pretty sure that's Scully's blood. So at the very least, we know she's been injured. Um, was there much blood at the scene? Yeah, a fair amount. Well, let's hope it's not as bad as it looks. Yeah, okay. Thanks for the call. Sure. If uh, anything changes, I'll let you know. Sure. No problem. Oh, Agent Wilmore? Yeah? Keep me informed, okay? All right. Thanks. More good news. That fisherman you interviewed yesterday, he's just been shot to death. Oh, shit. Wait a minute. How did you know about Wong? What? How did you know I went to see Wong yesterday? You told me. 
Hey, I was the one hit on the head, remember? I didn't tell you about Juan. No one brought it up. I didn't tell you about Wong. Oh, well, I guess Skinner must have mentioned it. Right. So, what happened to you? I came in early to catch up on your work, and someone jumped me. Why did they only take Scully's laptop? You got me. Shanks is going to be furious. And not to mention Skinner. Oh, now there's something to look forward to. First they disappear. Then we lose his prize agent's confidential records. I don't know what you're involved in, but someone's got some big brass ones in order to steal equipment from an FBI field office. Did you see who hit you? Nope. Whoever did it was real quiet. Man, if only you'd noticed the cardboard box next to your office. Damn you, solid snake! But seriously, we gotta go back to the uh, dockside warehouse, because it appears James Wan is dead. He's been shot dead. So that's not good. Sorry, Chief. It's a crime scene. No civilians. Ugh. Flash out the badge. Hey, come on in. Well, congratulations, old-timer. I don't know what you were doing, but you just warranted the involvement of the federal government. Lucky you. Yeah, James Wan is a dead guy, so, uh, that sucks for him. <laughs> but he was a lying motherfucker anyway, so I don't really care. He was a smoker too? That fucking liar. I don't smoke. It gives you cancer. Don't you watch the news? <laughs> ah, what an asshole. <laughs> Fuck you, James Wan. I'm glad you're dead. So what have you got? Well, Agent Wilmore, barring any unexpected revelation, looks like somebody shot this man in the back of the head. Have we met? Yeah, we both worked on that kidnapping last year, remember? Sorry. No problem. It was a big team. So what was the time of death? Well, preliminarily, I'd say he's been dead for about six hours, so that would make the time of death early in the AM. What caliber weapon was used? Big. 45 looks like. Maybe a 357. Hit him in the mastoid bone. That's that big, spongy mass of bone behind a ear. It shatters more easily, so there's an inordinate amount of damage. A lot of bone fragments get driven up into the brain. That's where Oswald hit JFK. I take it you subscribe to the lone gunman theory? No, I think aliens killed JFK. Any sign of a struggle? Nope. Either he was totally surprised or he knew his killer. I gather there were no witnesses. I don't think so, but you better check with Detective Astadorian. Medical examiner doesn't get much chance to interrogate bystanders. Any idea what happened? No. Any thought on motive? Robbery would be my guess. Ask Astadorian. It's her case. Can I get some copies of those? Sure. Give me a name. Craig Wilmore, FBI. No problem. It'll take a couple days. We'll never see those copies, by the way. <laughs> anyway, to the left of us is Seattle PD's Detective Mary Astadorian. What can I do for you? Special Agent Craig Wilmore, FBI. FBI? What's the Bureau's interest in this case? Depending on what we say to uh, Detective Astadorian here, she can either really like us or really hate us. So let's pick an appropriate answer, why not? For this playthrough, we're going to be all nicey-nicey, but uh, I will be showing the Renegade Evil Wilmore playthrough as well. So, let's go nice. I'm investigating the disappearance of two agents. Okay, so what's the connection to this man? My investigation led me to this warehouse. Inside, we found evidence of foul play, including the blood of one of our missing agents. I spotted Wong, asked him a few questions about the warehouse. He lied to me. Now he's dead. I'm not certain what the connection is, but I'm pretty certain there is one. I'll buy that. Interesting. This case just went from routine to fun. Thanks. Anytime. So, what have you got? Harbor Master found the body. He was shot once in the back of the head. Large caliber by the looks of it. No witnesses. No sign of struggle. That's it? So far. So, where's the Harbor Master? Gone for coffee. Have you questioned him yet? Nope. Next on my list after search boat. 
Any thoughts on motive? Robbery, most likely. So what was stolen? Haven't quite gotten there yet. Just about to go onto the boat. Well, robbery seems unlikely to me. Didn't look like the old guy had much. Probably true. But you'd be amazed at what people will kill for. He probably had a cigar box full of cash. Unless maybe he was killed for squealing to the feds. I wish I thought that was funny. Well, Wong didn't exactly run with the most desirable crowd. Any reports of trouble in this area? No. All's quiet on the waterfront. That's too bad. Yeah. Wouldn't it be nice to just pin this on gang activity and be done with it? All right, looks like it's time to board the good ship Agrippa. Care to join me? Now it's time to see renegade Wilmore in action. Let's be a total dick to Mary Astadorian here. Special Agent Craig Wilmore, FBI. FBI? What's the Bureau's interest in this case? I can't reveal that to you. Charming. Well, listen, Mr. Federal Bureau of Instigation, you better reveal something to me or I'll have you escorted off this crime scene. You can't do that. Try me. <laughs> oh, I'm so scared. I'm assuming jurisdiction in this case. Okay, but let it be on your head. Mendoza! Yeah, Detective. Escort this man beyond the perimeter. I'll have your job for this. You're trading in your badge for a chalk stick and you're gonna be writing parking tickets in Pioneer Square. Have I mentioned the guy playing Wilmore isn't really a good actor? <laughs> he doesn't seem to telegraph angry very well. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Although he did rip that police tape off really furiously, I must say. He's clearly really pissed off. I really can't believe I'm having to do this. After five years at the Bureau, you should know better. I need your badge and gun. You're off the case, Wilmore! Okay, but let it be on your head. Mendoza! Yeah, Detective. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you're right. I'm investigating the disappearance of two FBI agents. By the way, I really respect a man who backs down when threatened. That's a lovely color on you. Why, thank you, Agent Kissass. I can't reveal that to you. Listen, I don't want any trouble. Sure. You get what you give, okay? All you feds are all alike. Big tough guys just love to push around the locals. I don't want any trouble either. So feel free to nose around if you want to, but stay out of my way. All right, looks like it's time to board the good ship Agrippa. Smiling. I guess I can't succeed in driving you away, so I might as well invite you to join me. <laughs> Not smiling. But uh, yeah, that's the end of the Renegade uh, run-through. But basically, uh, for this playthrough, we're going to be nice because it adds to the ending. I'm still going to be showing all the evil, be a dick to Mary Astadorian clips. But uh, yeah. Consider her our Scully for the game. She will be our partner. So uh, yay, female partner. Hooray. Blah, blah, blah. Answer me this. Where'd he put his fish? What? His catch. Where'd he put his catch? There's no freezers. Hell, there's not even an ice chest on board. So where'd the fish go? And by the looks of it, those are some pretty serious gas tanks down there. So yeah, we do have to find uh, two key pieces of evidence here in James Wan's boat. Again, it's a very small boat, so it's not like there's much to search. Basically, we just go into the cabin, and we have only two things to look for. Not the candy, though the candy looks delicious. Now I want candy. You know what I love? Fun Dip. Fun Dip is awesome. I love Fun Dip because not only can you eat the powder, with the stick, but then you can eat the stick, and it's the fucking best candy ever. But anyway, you gotta look in his cabinet to see that he has these painkillers, these drugs, some pills in his cabin. And, uh, so make sure this cutscene triggers, why not? Damn it! Why do I keep saying why not? I'm sorry. <laughs> I really don't mean it. Oh, God. And uh, the other thing we want to look at in James Wan's uh, cabin is a yellow slicker. It's on the opposite side of the drug cabinet, but uh, I'm still just looking at everything else because, hey, a frog! <laughs> James Wong has a whole bunch of fucked up shit in his boat. But yeah, there's the giant yellow slicker that you need to look at. You, once you've looked at those, t those two things, you can go back to... Uh, Detective Astadorian and talk to her up about the clues. And yeah, that's really all there is left to see in this boat. Other than this stereo and... some Chinese money? 
Jap that's not Japanese, obviously, but I don't I don't know what kind of money that is. Anywho, folks, see you in part six when we unravel more of the mystery about James Wan and what the hell's going on here. <laughs>